Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. Thank you for checking out my video today. Today we have a brand new game for you guys. This one is Tom and Jerry Chase. You can download this free PowerPoint template below this video. Also, I want to say a big huge thank you to all of the viewers, subscribers, and contributors. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. Also, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when I post them up on this channel. So let's take a look at the game here. Uh, we have uh, some buttons here on our main screen. We have the rules and the play now button. And up here we have the support to more project button too. You can click on that later. So let's click on the rules. So here we have the rules. First, click on the cheese for the Q&A. Then, if the students answer correct, they can choose a number to hide Jerry. Click on the return to go back to the main game. And you can click on Tom, this Tom button here, to start the chase. And Tom will look for Jerry. So if he stops by a number, click on that number to try to find Jerry. And if you find Jerry, click on the Jerry below uh, the slide to minus a point. And when all the Jerry's are gone, then game over. So let's click on return here and we take a look at the game. So let's click the play button here. All right, so here is our main game, the living room here. We have numbers here, one, two, nine, where you can hide Jerry. And on the left here, we have the QA cheese. So you can click on this and it'll take you to the QA slide. And below here we have five Jerry's. So you only have five tries. And then we have the uh, Tom button here. When you click on that, he'll chase Jerry. So here again, we have the numbers where you can hide uh, from Tom. So let's click on the QA here and you can add your own question up here. And I'll show you how to do that later. And you can also add an image or a picture onto this slide as well. So let's click on Jerry here to reveal the answer. And if the students can answer it correctly, they can choose a number below the answer here. So we have three, five, and four. So you can just click on one of these or you can click on the star to return. So they can choose any number they want. So if they want to choose number three, just click on number three. And now you can click on uh, the Tom button in the right corner here to start the chase. So go ahead and click on that. All right. And once the animation is done, so he's, he stopped by number three here. So click on three and there you go. He found Jerry behind number three. So you minus one of the points here. All right. So we can click on uh, the number again, number three to unhide Jerry. So go ahead, you can click on that. And then we'll click on the cheese for um, another QA. All right, so here is QA slide again. So you can add your answer up here, uh, qu a question up here and click on Jerry to reveal the answer. And if they answer correctly, you can click on one of the numbers down here. They can choose any number they want. So if they want to hide uh, number four, so click on number four here. So they're hiding behind number four. So let's click on this uh, button again. So the students is number four and Jerry's number one. So they're, they're okay because they were hiding um, behind number four there, over there. All right. So let's try it again. Click on Jerry for the answer and then they can choose a number to hide. So if they choose the wrong one and Tom stops by that number, then minus a point below. So let's click on this button right here. <laughs> All right, so this time he stopped by number six. All right, so 
If they chose number six, then you have to minus one point down here. All right, so let's click on uh, the six here to unhide and we'll go to QA again. Click on Jerry and we have one, five and four. So let's say they want to hide under number one this time. So they want to go to number one. So let's cl click the chase button here. Let's see where he stops this time. All right, so they're safe. So if they chose number five, um, then you have to minus a point. But if they choose number one, there's no Jerry there. So they are safe. So you can play around with this a little bit and uh, see how it goes. Again, you can add whatever uh, English grammar or language or uh, questions you want to review with your, your lesson or with your class. And you can use this with whatever language you want as well. And if you are a parent, uh, maybe this might be fun to play with your children. Uh, you can put whatever vocabularies in here to teach your your student, uh, your child. Um, also, I'll show you how to edit uh, this uh, PowerPoint game later. Uh, I've read in the comment section on how to add uh, more questions if they want to add more question slides. I'll show you that later, so I hope you can watch that until the end to learn how to do that for yourself as well. Oh, we just woke Spike up. Whew, safe. All right, so we'll just hit number four to un uh, unhide that right there. And as you can see, you can click on um, the Tom button here, and he's going to run around the living room. So you can just click on it here and see where he goes. So if you click on the run button, the Jerry will disappear. He'll hide somewhere else, of course. And he hid underneath number six this time. So we can click on this to see where he goes. If you guys enjoy my PowerPoint games materials, uh, please don't forget to like, share, and comment. It will really help out this channel a lot. And if you want to help support this channel even more, um, I'll leave a link um, uh, in the description box, and you can click on that to help support more projects like these as well. And if there's a particular game that you want to see me create, uh, please don't hesitate to write that in the comment section below, and I'll uh, try my best to... Uh, uh, create these uh, these suggestions and um, who knows maybe your game will be next on my uh, uh, next video so here we are on the QA slide and I'm going to just write in a question here so what time do you get up in the morning and down here we'll put the answer maybe something like I get up at and you just put whatever here and you can add an image here if you want. Uh, just go to uh, insert image picture from a file and just choose any image you want uh, for this purpose. Uh, for this video, we'll just use a random picture here. And I'll just place that in the center here. Uh, that looks good. All right. And once you're happy with that, uh, we can test it out by going to uh, here and hit the play button. And then we'll hit play now. And all right, so we'll find the cheese here for the QA. So just click on that to see your edited slide. And there we go. What time do you get up in the morning? Let's hit Jerry to reveal the answer. All right, I get up at, and if they can answer correctly, you can just choose one of the number down here. And if they're wrong, just return, just hit the return button. So we hit here. And that was number five. They're hiding under number five. So let's start the chase. So he didn't go to number five. He stopped at number three. And if you reveal that, it's Jerry under number three. So you are safe. All right. So let's take a look on how we can add a, a um, extra QA slide. So here we have up to slide 33. So we'll just right click and choose duplicate. So click on any one of these slides and just go to duplicate slide here. Go ahead and do that. And now we have uh, an extra slide. So we have slide uh, 34 now. And so we'll just write a new answer up here, a question. And then we'll put an answer down here. 
Uh, you can do, uh, you can use this whatever uh, grammar you want. It's really up to you. And now we have to, um, once we uh, duplicate the slide and edit the slide, we want to um, make a button and hyperlink that to the new slide. So this is slide 34. So go back to number three here, slide three, and we go, want to open our selection pane and want to find one of the QA here. So we want to grab QA1 because it's on the top. So we want to grab QA1 here. So just click on that. And it's an invisible button. So we want to hover over here. So make sure it's still QA1. So it's invisible. So right click and copy or control C, control V since I'm using a MacBook. So now it's here. I copied it. So it's QA1 and it's on top. So I want to label this QA maybe um, 31 since there are only 30 questions on this particular game. So I'm going to call it QA31, but you can call it whatever you want. So QA31. And now I'm going to move this on top. I'm going to move this on top here. And now it's on the very top. And it's invisible still. So I'm going to right click here and I'm going to go to action setting. And then we're going to hyperlink this to the new slide we created. So right now it's, it's slide four because that was the old slide. Um, again, click on here and we'll go to slide and we just scroll down to slide 34. Click on that. And now we have successfully linked our new, uh, button to our slide. And we can test that out uh, by hitting the play button to see if it works. So go ahead. We're going to go back to slide three here. Hit the play button. And now we're going to hit on the QA G's here and see if it is correct. All right. It looks like it's working properly. So what is one plus one? Click on Jerry to reveal the answer. All right. It's two. And then they can choose a number here. And just click on that and say this, the what number eight. And then we could just hit the run button here for the run animation to start. And they're hiding under number eight, so they're safe. All right, and here is the old slide here. All right. If you have any questions or um, concern about this particular PowerPoint game, please don't hesitate to write it down in the comment section below and I'll definitely take a look at that. And if you have any uh, ideas or suggestions for a game, uh, please don't. Please also don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section below so I can take a look at that as well. If you're new to this channel and you would like to get more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you can get the latest materials when I post them up on this channel. Also, you can like, share, and comment. It will really help out this channel a lot. As always, I want to say thank you, and I wish you the best of luck in your classes.